Demon Dice. Adrenaline Rush Demon Dice? Are you kidding me right now? This is gonna be a stupid game. This is very much so a vice game. If if people like if people just don't go for kills here, I don't know what. We need to go hyper offensive. Because adrenaline rush is what uh wow, well, I was gonna say, I don't know about the jewelry ban when there's quick strike adrenaline. We cannot let that span at all. No rune, curiously enough. Oh, they did first pit. Well, Vice or Kazan is exactly my market here. It's either that or it could become the primordial evil that I hate so much in Zen. What? I'll see. Because otherwise, I think I do a lot more better conditioning with getting kills and burst out. With Vice. Yeah, let's do so. Holding siphoning until I see otherwise. It's Fini, of course. It's Demon Dice Fini. You can't deny how important that pick itself in general is. But what else are they running a composition on? Because it should just be Powerhouse Poldron's goalie Fini, who's just looking to take advantage of everything here. Runa Juno. Uh, yep. I'm going vicious. I'm not going to deal with this head-on at all. <laughs> you made the right choice. So Jory and I are looking at kills here. If she's doing pummers, then she could look for her cheesy dash punches on the corners. But it's demon dice, which makes it a little bit more contentious. I'll have to see how it goes, though. It is pummers. It is both, um... It, it is altogether adrenaline rushes. Siphoning's on their end, but we'll see. It's my attrition versus their bur burst. Which is a trend I feel like I've been seeing a lot in OS recently when it comes to... I think it's just, like, meta, of course. But also just, you know, like, you know, when it comes to comps or like, how you're exactly you're trying to build around, too. Great, great cryo steal from me. Luna's dead, because he disrespected me. Didn't get anything on Fini, but that's huge, though, because Julie's palm was prots, and well, yeah, like I said, Luna just disrespected me completely. I don't know why you're trying to dribble back to me, Julie, but it still worked well enough. I don't know if you, uh, did you have your cooldowns? Because if not, then I can understand that in that case. But yeah, just straight up, Luna disrespected, didn't want to use an evade, and I got my kill. I don't have to concern myself with winning first touch wars at all, considering how Juno's just always just going to be, uh, just face. Always just going to be using friend point at that point then. But instead, I'm trying to see what pressure I can bring. Ay, 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 ay. Not the best time to strike, all things considered, right there. Oh, unfortunate. But Joey for your accident death. It's fine. And my old really didn't zone anybody off as much as I would have wanted to. It was just a bad one. But I was thinking maybe I could chip Nuna and then turn into a 2v2. But then that would still be Austin drowning by himself. So, all fine, all fine. It's dead. Drag whatever hit I can out of. Juno, we go on from here. I can make pressure on Juno. At least force core control towards my way, where I want to go. And that's all I can ask for, baby girl. Go that to me, away from Luna. That would have been master classing right there if I got it. Keep cutting Juno out for what I can here. Let's try. Force evade out of you know, Juno, and the big thing is, she almost had her burst, so I drilled it out of her. Oh, that's so annoying. I got the hit though, and then I'm breaking ankles! Woo! Let's go, ladies and gentlemen! I thunderstruck phase off in the end! Oh, okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, if, if that's just how everyone's just going to start, then I'm just going to see what advantages I can brew off of this. Such as if I can kill Fini, I missed everything on Fini. Bad TP? Well, we'll have to see if it works out in the end. Good, Jaja Blast. Really good, Jaja Blast. I hit it back to Juno for whatever reason there. 
I drew a raid out Luna. Juno's just gonna walk up with their burst. Yeah. Could have probably tossed the power core at haphazardly at the bottom left to see if I could intercept it, but I just kinda accepted it once I was like, well, my Thunderstruck isn't covering as much. Alright. Julia didn't get to really play there because she got all the way battered and bruised out of making a play at all with no stagger to her name. So that is, I think, something I need to help sore her up on. So she got her dash fun skill, so that's really huge. So now we can try to pummel this. Pummel is pummel is pummel is this. Oh, that's so unfortunate. My power cord not hitting either is also unfortunate because all the, all the stagger damage we've been doing so far is absolutely gone. Has to be respected. Power cord to clear the way, and then I need to win my 50 50. So huge. This is so huge for me. I want to get their burst out with my ult. One, two. And my wars. Clearance away! Predicting where Luna wants to get it. And that's huge, because Juliet's Infinity don't have to care about that. I'm just man marking Juno, and I'm winning all of those. So just cover the last angle that, um, that Luna wants to pass to, and we are golden. Give me that extra special. Let's get something stupid going. It's like, the free dance and kills aren't too much, and with Juliet being Pummers, I'm not going to trust necessarily to make all the plays off of it. Instead, it just need, falls to me to see if I can help weaken somebody for Julie, necessarily. Light of the Crosses is going to help her out on this end. But the only problem is, right, they just have so much reach. I don't know if Julie's going to honestly have the survivability for it on the end here. Austin gets um, stats on stats, which is, you know, a great best in slot for Kai. And Juno swapping things up. A little bit here. All right, I'm I'm for I'm forcing some attention away. And I'm trying to really bother them for their energy and for their abilities here. Yeah, Julie's just playing midfield as much as she can considering how much damage that she's taken. I have a lot more liability to play a little bit more up considering I also have my what's face. I have my vicious but it's a little bit suffering if I can't get something going. Because, like, once I got the first evade out of Juno, I believe, I should have just pressed ult on her face and just gone from there to then let uh, unlock Juliet. So I think it's going to be the key to this game here. Unlocking Juliet and letting her play the game. As you can see, she is positively not playing the game. That's all of her energy out. That's half her stagger out. She is absolutely not having fun. But if I can open the way for her to get a reset and proc her pummel is right so then that's that's all that I'm looking for so pressure Juno resets abound can't believe we didn't get anything off of that but it's fine yeah just unlock Julia just literally double up like core control first and foremost as always but if I see Julie I in any enemy in particular, then it's my job to just say, all right, you want them dead? Good. Right now, I'm like, look at that juicy Finny who has no energy for an evade. Look for it, but I just want to keep dragging it up. Uh, uh, yeah, up towards where Finny is. And yeah, that just what Julie get a dash once and then Pummel is away. Simple enough, simple as that. Now I'm just going to do the same thing back to Juno, because she has no energy, so I'll just hit her again. Actual energy management master in question mark. Coming around. That's her jump out. That's a little bit more zoning than I would have wanted, considering how we had to really just draw away from our corner of control. But I can still find advantages to spur off of this. Cause that's huge. This is not huge at the moment, of course. Oh, I didn't strike because I think Austin would have had it, but why wouldn't I strike? Somebody just needs to get out of the goal at that rate. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We have burst cryo without a doubt. Only uh, the only problem is Luna. 
eight and JC gets her burst priority, and I should have had that strike. Honestly, all things considered, right there. So we just need to see what we can force out. Just tap her, get her staggered out. That way, she's forced all the way back in the play. Because I'm trying to zone as much as I can here, but I'm not hitting. I'm not hitting anything. Good burst. I need to get my face in here and just start pressuring. Great. Great dribble back around. Don't need to stack up on Julie. Oh, I can't believe that didn't hit. I wanted to force that burst out of out of Luna as much as possible right there. I have burst! I beefed it! I beefed it so hard! It comes down to can we can we can we kill Finny? Yes we can! Intercept! Didn't get it! Oh my goodness, my zoning just didn't get it. The Blobo! Oh, I almost had the cut of the century! But I have the cut of the century! Oh! <laughs> Oh, the passing cut! Once more, ladies and gentlemen, I still got it. Somehow, I still got that. Oh man, there. I, if I if I could, I'd love to get Stinger. But let's just see how this draft goes. Does this two best in slots from Heavy Impact or Stinger from me? All right, yeah, Juno takes it without a doubt. So in that case, it's probably both for me or just unstoppable. Yeah, unstoppable in that case. Let me just start walking up on the enemies and start being a problem to them. So Ju Juliet got MVP for the set, so she deserves to get heavy impact. Because it does give her a lot more danger on just the corners itself, just being Pummel Julie. As for me, I'm just going to say, screw you for whatever you do. Okay, maybe a triple takes, maybe not that. But I can burn advantages. Lots of advantages off of this. As I do it, even with that Taparuni, I got your evade out. I got your evade out. I actually might have griefed out a little bit, but at the end, I would have tapped it in anyway. Good conversion, Julie. Fine enough. Let's just snowball this and have them shut out. And have them get shut out. But yeah, just tap for me. Look at how low she already is. Deny her the orb. Rather, make it so that she only breaks even on the orb. And now, everything that I just did, I'm just gonna keep zoning um, Juno. Because that's her hop gone. Disrespected. Goes down. And look at that cascade, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Being able to just take a look at, all right, who does Julie need to kill right now from any stray hits and pairing off of this? Our adrenaline rushes are absolutely rocking them. And also just paying attention to energy. Once again, when I see somebody that has no way to evade, they die! Tap. Because your evade's gone. I'm just going to burst to kill you straight up. What a cut. Power cord. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, just fits your perfect vice. Great stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Great stuff. Good stuff on following up on our plays, Julian. That's a complete shutout. It's been forever since I've played with the Pummel's Juliet, all things considered funny enough. But that, that's exactly what we should be doing. You should enable her to be able to go out and make those... Awkward as I'd make those awkward points on the enemy, make sure that they can never have a comfortable way to get back in. 